Hello, how are you? So happy you're here. Thank you for being here. God bless our subscribers. Please give them perfect health and perfect wealth. Keep them free from worries, fears, anxieties, concerns. Send your angels and your archangels to guard, guide, and protect them. I love them so. Join my energy, please. We're going to read for Taurus, Cross Watchers. I see you. You are very welcome here, Taurus. Taurus. Thank you. Thank you very much. The energy of the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini, lover's energy. Lovely. And scorpionic energy, work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. So what do we have in entirety? The answers you need are coming if you work through your fears. Are you brave enough to see the, the answers? Sometimes it's difficult to realize the truth. And the truth is right in front of our nose. It's still a little bit frightening. Let's get some more answers from the map. Thank you everyone for leaving a comment about when you joined. I was so happy to see Blast from the Past. Please leave me a message, leave me a comment. I'd like, I'd like to see, keep in touch. Messages here too, coming through. Taurus, what is up? Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair, where the dragon lives. Okay, we're going to hear more about that, please and thank you. Coming apart. Well, that's good. Coming apart so that you can be fitted back together. And spirit of the place. Interesting. Dragon's Lair, coming apart, and the spirit of the place. It's a brand new you. I like this too, coming apart, when you see the two parts Full Moon and Gemini, the Twin Spirit, Twin Flame coming apart and recreating yourself. Dragon Lair, that could be the energy that you're in lately. You feel like there's no safe place. It's a freeze out, but this is also the, the spirit of the place. Okay, so if you needed confirmation that you're going through it, there you go. You're going through it. Let's get some more energy for you here. Okay. Taurus, we have... Meditation. I meditate daily to allow universal wisdom to flow through me. Meditation. Beautiful. Yes, please and thank you. Okay. Yep. Quite a few are going through it. You're going to be okay. You can get through this together. Dragon's Lair. I still think about that. Yep. Fire Breathing Dragon. Who is that? Taurus Energy. Taking that leap of faith. The Fool's Journey on which the whole tarot experience is based. The Fool's Journey. Zero, not meaning nothing. It means possibilities forward and backwards. Let's continue. We will, we will clarify. Six of Cups, such a beautiful, innocent energy. See, they're almost like the children, almost touching noses. Six of Cups, my soul recognizes you at a cellular level. I know you, you know me. Beautiful. High Priestess, you know what you know what you know. Trust and believe. Work through your fears. The energy of the moon. 
trust and believe. We're going to clarify justice energy. A sword in one hand and a scale in another. Libra energy. In the middle of the reading, we have emotion and motion. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. To the beautiful star. Aquarian energy. Hopes, wishes, dreams, but also a healing card. We're going to clarify. Five of Swords underneath Justice. Okay, that makes sense. To the Empress. To the oh, Ace of Cups. How beautiful. Hopes, wishes, and dreams for a new... See, you're leveling up. Every day you're learning more about yourself, your person, the situation. At the bottom of the deck, we have Earth of Earth. All pages are Earth energy. So Pentacles being Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's fertile ground to plant a seed. And we know it's fertile because the Empress is right here. Let's do ask for clarification, though. Clarification. Taurus. Going through it, but we're going to be all right. One more time. Thank you. Body. Spirit. All right. Everyone together now. Clarification for the fool is... Feeling off balance to Knight of Cups, Knight of Water. All knights are air energy, so it's air of cups. I have an idea of love, my ideal love. I'm going towards my ideal love to the Eight of Swords, but I'm still up in my head. There are still things to overcome. And here... Here's where the Dragon Slayer comes in. There are still things to overcome. There are still things to overcome. Sometimes we can be our own worst enemy with our thoughts. We can get onto a negative habit and our thoughts can overtake the, the spirit of our energy. The truth is going to set us free. Yeah. Just when you think... Forget about it. This is too much. This is too difficult. The truth is going to set us free. Let's clarify more. The Six of Cups. Yeah. Our home. Our house is a very, very, very fine house. Four of Wands. Again, fire energy. You doubled that to the Eight of Wands in the middle of your reading. Four of Wands. It's a great foundation. Yeah. I don't feel like this is a new love. I feel like this is a love from many lifetimes sometimes you guys met in the lifetime sometimes you didn't that's part of the frustration that you feel the spirit of the place some of the frustration that you feel it's like are we going to be like two ships in the night again 11 11 2 that's a soulmate card three of pentacles the artisan card someone is refining i would love to see the eight of pentacles someone's refining their craft they are leveling up. Um, you might be going to school or you just, you might be studying something. I wonder what it, okay, to the sun, Leo energy of the sun. You can't go wrong. Your intuition is leading you through this. It might seem very dark and, and you're going to be tempted to run, but you have to work through your fears. You might be tempted to run away because it's just without... Knowing that the sun is going to come out, it's always darkest before the dawn. Your intuition is on point. So we have Earth of Air with the Page of Swords. <sighs> it might seem like you have an idea and then it flies away. You have an idea and it flies away. Someone is very protected, though, in a very earthy sense. They're very protective. They don't want any... It's almost a little bit over the edge, uh, uh, just a step too, a, a step too far. Um, bring it back. Uh, let your person feel your love, send them your love, hopes and wishes. They know they feel, you know, they feel your energy, right? And it's the sun energy. So don't doubt this is going to be victorious. We've got the, the, um, the cloth of victory. Let's clarify some more. Okay, strength again in the reverse. Someone's 
not feeling all that strong. Tell me why. Because they're going deep inside. They're learning more about themselves. I have to put this here. You're learning more about, both of you are. Both of you are leveling up. When we were doing the Lightseer Tarot, we saw the Hierophant with the, the stairs behind the, the great tooth speaker. You're leveling up. And it's time. It's justice, Libra energy. It's time for justice to come. And I love that. Six of Pentacles. So we have the theory of justice, and they're, th they're sitting there, and they're making laws and, and passing uh, laws to make everyone act correctly. However, Six of Pentacles is the actual behavior of someone not just knowing what justice is, but giving fairly and charitable. Both people in here have the, the scales in their left hand. Anatomical left hand. <laughs> So it's one thing to have the spirit of the place here in the justice. It's another to, to work through your fears and to give charitably to both. Yet yeah, from the six of pentacles to the five of pentacles, that's the fearful part. You don't want to be left behind or they don't want to be left behind. This is something you felt before. Or they have felt before and it's it's frightening will i have to feel this way again no it's what's what's going to happen is, is beautiful it's worth anticipating three of wands <sighs> going towards the eight of wands emotion and motion so this bottleneck of energy is going to open up yeah yesterday you felt a little bit mad today's a little bit better working through it from the Eight of Wands to the Nine of Pentacles, pre-Empress energy, the card of increase, the card of utilizing all of your resources, utilizing everything at your disposal, a single attractive person to the King of Cups, the mastery of our emotions, kind of like um, a life coach, a mentor, someone who helps Support your ideas and your emotions. More of your emotions. Two more. Yeah, the will, the will. What did Michelle say yesterday? I forget. With the wheel of opportunity. It's like something is turning, clicking. Um, something new is happening. The Wheel of Fortune. It's happening and your hopes, wishes, and dreams are coming true. And also healing to the Empress. <laughs> you can't go wrong that Taurus energy. You have that Taurus energy and your person might also have Taurus in their chart if you're not cross-watching. But you just, there's so many things that are going to happen. This loving, loving feeling, grace, dignity, and, and also pregnant with possibilities. The world's your oyster. Uh, the air of... No, this is the... Yeah, the air. What is that? Fire, I'm sorry. No? Coming in with a message. What is the message, though? What is the message? Mm -hmm. The air of air. Okay, the message is someone's tired of waiting in place. Okay, I know. Someone feels like it's just not moving quickly enough. There is an energy that's lateral that's here. Okay, but it's being trumped by the fool. Yeah, as, as much as this person drags their feet and doesn't want to, um, I say play fairly, play nice, the fool is here to say no. This is going to be a brand new start. Four of Pentacles, there, there might be some budget constraints right now, however, to the Page of Swords again. Hmm. The Air of Hmm. Very protective. 
almost, I, I don't want to say too protective. Yeah, someone is walking away from a toxic situation and they feel vulnerable. That's what it is. They feel vulnerable. But the Empress is here to provide that dignity. Uh, it, they might feel like this is a very undignified situation to be in. It's not their normal. It's not typical for them. There we go. Chance, cancer, the chariot, cancerian energy. Just by willpower, this is going to move forward for the soulmates. Just by sheer willpower. Yeah, more understanding. Going deep within. I think... I think, I think both of you are understanding more about your situation, where you come from, how it is that you think what you do, how it is you feel like you do. Hmm. To the Ace of Cups. I'm so glad to see the, the Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups is a whole new facet. This is a whole new type of love. It's it's going to feel, I don't want to say almost uncomfortable. This pure type of love is a lot. It's a lot to behold. It's a lot to experience if you haven't had this experience before. But someone's deep into the details. Every T is going to be crossed. Every I is going to be dotted to the King of Cups. Yeah. Generous heart. They're saying, don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. I'm deep in my work. I'm, I'm doing the best I can. Two of Wands, but in reverse. Yeah. Someone is like losing a bit of enthusiasm. Why though? Because you feel left out in the cold. Ah, they're up in their head at night with some nightmares, but they're snapping out of it. You see, it's Nine of Swords, but in reverse. Tell me more about this energy. Yeah, they, again with the strength in reverse. Just they don't feel strong. They don't feel strong. Tell me more. Queen of Cups, water of water. She is the embodiment of calm, of balance. That's going to be refreshing after all of this. You're going to let oh, ten of wands, but in reverse. Okay, going to let down that burden. Going to let go of that burden so that you can go towards your Ten of Pentacles. And again with the Magician. <sighs> Mastery. As above, so below. So it's been a long, what a, what a long, strange trip this has been. Let me recap this because there was a lot of emotion here. A lot of emotion here for you guys. For those of you who don't watch all the way to the end, you might be missing some things here. Okay, beginning with the fool's journey, feeling off balance, feeling that you, I, for some reason, I know you. For some reason, I just, we click together. You feel just beautiful and warm when they're around, but you don't, right now, it's a difficult time. It's like you lost your strength. Justice is here. There might be some legal things happening, but charity is going to come out. Someone has been left out in the cold and they don't want to feel that way. The emotion is so strong and things are changing for the positive. We have hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true with the Empress. This, the dignity is going to be there because in some ways this is like an undignified, someone feels like they're less than, um, they're in a bad position. They don't want to be in this position. They want to feel like the Empress. There is a um, like a negative energy about, but it's more of tomfoolery. It's not anyone that's going to hurt you. The Fool is coming out again just to remind us where we started. That some budget constraints, someone's leaving a toxic situation and going towards, with a quickness, um, dignity and repose. They're going to be with their soulmate. But both, both people here are deep within trying to understand more about what they what makes them tick. Deep in the details. Someone is, it, sometimes you feel less than enthusiastic. That might be the season, right? They're just afraid of being left behind. They're, they're not making themselves sick about it though. They're not up in their head with worry. 
however, they just feel that this is a lot. It's taken a long time, and I, I hope to have enough strength to get through this. Queen of Cups is emotional balance and the embodiment of calm, letting down the burden to go to the Ten of Pentacles, luxury, the ability to pay the bills, and more manifestation. The card that is framing this whole energy is the Page of Pentacles, Earth of Earth. A new beginning. Fertile grounds. The world is our oyster. Let me get you some soul cards. Some soul cards. Here we go. A lot of energy here, you guys. A lot of energy. It's the roller coaster. It's up and down. A lot of things are going on. So if you feel stressed or out of breath, it makes sense, doesn't it? It makes sense. Both of you are going through it. Messages for Taurus, please. You appear often in my dreams. Trust and believe. You guys speak to each other in 5D. It's, it's um, a, a karmic... I remember you. You remember me. I'm so grateful I met you. Are you sure you are real? That's this nine of swords in reverse. Not, not worrying about that anymore. Are you sure you're real? Are you sure you want me? To I love that I can be myself around you. Leaving this toxic relationship where someone was a little bit snide, a little bit callous with your feelings, and going towards dignity. And the ability to repose. I feel at home with you. That is our Six of Cups. A couple more. I'm in love with you. That's our Two of Cups. I'm in love with you. I can't wait to see you again. That's our Chariot. That feeling of it's going to take a lot of willpower, but I can't wait to see you. Uh, uh, yeah. Oftentimes at the bottom of the deck, you find a lot of energy. Thank you for teaching me what real love is for those of you who have stayed till the end of of the video you you'll have seen me pause once in a while because the energy is so strong i don't want to misinterpret okay that wasn't really easy i love you guys take good care and i'll see you tomorrow make sure you can see all these cards all right take care bye bye